Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Life Redesigned. I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And this is a day that I've been waiting to talk about. I, before I even start as to where, we're, where we are and what we're doing, Carrie, I want to play a little word game with you because this went so well Great. the last time we did this. I'm going to name off oh, a few boy. places, okay? And I want you to tell me the first thing that pops in your mind, okay? We're going to start with Fort Wilderness. Okay. Destin, Florida. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, Rock City. Uh-huh. Quartzsite, Arizona. Uh-huh. Bucky's. Uh-huh. Okay. So, I got it. I What's got that? I got it this time. All right. What, what Places do you think? Places every YouTuber has done a video on. You are absolutely correct. Word. <laughs> and let me tell you, of all the places that YouTubers send you to go and check out, because it's the new coolness yep. and the new hotness, I'm probably on that list, and I'm not even going to start doing it, but on that list, probably only two of them were actually worth going to. But today, <laughs> Carrie, Whew. we have what I am going to go and put my entire reputation on the line yes. and say that this is the place that every YouTuber is going to be flocking to within the next year to do a video on because this place is blowing away the competition Our everywhere. special place. And I know. <laughs> and the sad part is, by doing this and sharing this, we're going to ruin our special place, but it means that much. We're talking about, right here, we're talking about Splash RV Resort and water park. That's right. Not only an RV resort, <laughs> and a water park in one. This place is amazing. If you spend the next 20 minutes or so with Carrie and I, we're going to walk you through this amazing RV resort right on the Gulf Coast, right on the Panhandle. We're talking about a, a half hour from Pensacola. We're talking about 45 minutes to an hour from Florabama, a half hour from Navarre Beach. We're right near the highway. You couldn't ask for a more perfect place to RV in the South. And that is saying things. And I'm gonna tell you right now that I, again, my reputation on the line, All right. this place will not only impress you, but this place will make you rethink your family trip to Disney. Most That's definitely. That's how good this place is. Yep. So you stick tight, let us show you what we think is the new YouTube hotness. Wait, Wait a minute. Are you alone? All right, if it's just those guys, you can come in. I want to show you something, but I want to keep it a secret at the same time because I'm afraid once I show this, everybody's going to want this. Come on, come on, come on. Look at this. Can you imagine, just for a second, you're a kid, your parents are taking you camping, right? And you're thinking, I'm going to be stuck in a tent or worse, I'm going to be stuck in that little Winnebago with the little bunk beds. No. You get to go here, and you get to sleep in a covered wagon. I would have never had thought that something like this has existed. So look at this. You've got pretty much everything that you need. You have a huge bed that you can, you know, you and your spouse can share. Or if it's you, if it's just you and me, Carrie, you can have three quarters of the bed, and I'll take a quarter. It's fine. But you've got your night side table, your lamps. This is amazing. This is all the whole Wild West, that whole vibe. But at the same time, you've got air conditioning, you've got electricity. Heck, you've even got, check this out, Kara, come on over here. Mm. Look at this, you've got a TV. Oh, wow. So you can watch TV in bed. The kiddos here have a nice bunk bed, right? And this isn't, we're not talking RV bunks. We're not talking those two inch mattresses in, in the Winnebago that we had. We're talking some serious home style mattresses Look at the spacing here and look at this. Is this not the most adorable thing you've seen? This is a wagon wheel table with a nice glass top. You have another lamp and they've even got some little, what do they call these things? Smelly things. That people, that, oh, things that smell better than me. And you got a coffee cup. This is really, really nice. And again, look at this, because we are here in Florida. And as you can see from the perspiration on the top of my dome, this is something you have to have, a mini split system. They do everything. Look at the bedding down here. Look at this car. They've even got your, your towels all set up. And if you, uh, all your sheets, your bedding, everything is themed beautifully. And the best part about this is, so you, you have all this on a serious note, I'm being a little goofy here, taking some, kind of blown away by this stuff. And 
I'm going on the outside here. There's two buildings that you can go in, and you can take a shower. Um, or these are bathrooms here, and there's also a bathhouse on the other side, so you can take a shower. You really don't need to go that far for anything. But more importantly, I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to show you. Come with me, Carrie. I'm going to steal this from you. I think I'm right down here, and look at this. Again, with the this is number six, and a number of wagons all together and you're forming your own wagon train. So again, this is something where community is very, very important here. You have your nice fire pit, seating for everybody. It all says splash on the side. Not a piece of detail was left out. You have your little charcoal cooking rings and more of these here. And we'll cover all this back here. We haven't even gotten to the main event yet. Not yet. But look at this, look at this. This here goes all the way up. Can you imagine if you're a kid? Well, I'm blown away by this. We're gonna go inside and look at this. So you have this beautifully done teepee. And the best part about this is, you know, you can have all the kids can play in here. They can do their things, their board games, stuff like that. And then you guys, can be right over here having a nice refreshing adult beverage but i, I really think gary the, the, the big thing here is you count these eight little wagons right you think about family gatherings yeah a nice way to do a family reunion mm -hmm. where you can just rent out all of them and just not even bother with the outside world you can just have everything you can all hang out in the teepee <laughs> well thought out well planned Placement is phenomenal. And again, that's, that's cool. a fire. You're not gonna, yeah, you're not like gonna miss that. that fire. Look at that. All right, we covered the two parts here. We still got more to do. I'm gonna have to towel off the head because this, this place is huge. And we've got uh, a lot more to show you. You ready? ready. Oh, guess what? What, what? If you look way down here, I don't wanna spoil it. Oh my God. I don't <laughs> wanna spoil it. But this place is so fancy, they watered their water. <laughs> not just once, not just twice, but they water their water three times. We'll catch you in a minute. All right. Now, first and foremost, Carrie and I both want to take a moment and we want to thank the management team here. Mm -hmm. Judy and her team are fantastic in taking the time to unlock a few of these things and give us a behind the scenes tour of a couple of things that you know most people wouldn't get to see. We are extremely appreciative. And again, thank, thank you. you. So we've had the privilege of staying here. Now this is a, before we get any further, this is a non-paid, non-sponsored review. So that Carrie and I spent our hard earned cash, our moolah to stay here. And let me tell you, mm -hmm. out of all the places that we've stayed since being full-time RVers, this is the only place where I haven't complained about the money. No, I'm gonna be sad to leave. So before, as we have the background here of the beautiful covered wagons, I want you to know that this is not a Western theme town. That just happens to be an added little bonus. <clears throat> this is something that is crazy unique. And when we talk about changing out Disney for something, I, this is it. This is gonna have vibes of not only Disney, but I'm gonna put this up there with Margaritaville. Mm -hmm. Because if you're an adult and you like to have an adult beverage while you sit by the pool, you can do that here because they have a full tiki bar. Today is the grand opening of the said tiki bar. That's correct, Gary. It is. They also have a outdoor pavilion with food trucks and everything else. Some of this stuff is going to be kind of hard to show. I might have to do a couple of voiceovers because there is music playing in the background. But here you go, folks. Right here, you have two water slides right off the bat alongside Carrie and Bob's special place. This is the one spot that Carrie and I have spent the most time in. This is the Lazy River. And we're talking, we're here in April, and this is not heated. The Lazy River, the pools are, and the hot tub is. The Lazy River is not. But let me tell you something. It still was a blast just to get done with the day and sit here and float down the channel and just relax while people played all kinds of games out here. People were relaxing. There's a little stage up here for performances. You have 
you can be as social or as anti-social as you want to be here. And if you've watched any of our videos in the past, you know I am not a social person. But you have some nice couches back here. You also have a nice pool. If you've got your family, they're doing a little bit, little groundskeeping here. But they have a nice heated pool here for your family. And then off in this section, okay. Are you ready for this, Gary? What? Off in this section here that I'm gonna show next, and I'm gonna try to, there's people in it, so I'm gonna kind of be a little discreet here, is an adult-only section. Now, look at this. This is it, this is adult only, and it's a whole pool and pavilion, and that's right, no kids. So your kids can go over here, or if you've already been like Terry and I, you've raised your kids, and you don't want any more kids, you just go float there. As you see the water coming down, they supply the tubes here for this little nice little splash area that this bucket comes down and just soaks your kids or you. They have all this set up here, and then way down here is a splash pad. And the beautiful part is you can be as close to this area as you want to be. They have a site right next to it. They have sites right across this area. Or you can be as far away from it like Carrie and I are and still only be about a five minute walk. How cool is this? The kid in me is going nuts with this place. Absolutely incredible. Everything There's here. There's restrooms here as well. Yeah, and speaking of which, these restrooms, let me see if I can, you know, we're gonna do that. We're gonna be that couple. I'm gonna walk in here and show you this restroom because this well, place just opened. Well, I'm not opened. going in there. This place just opened like a year ago and, and they had a little soft openings and uh, yeah, we're making sure. But look at this, there's a men's room. You know, look, whoa, handsome guy right there. Nice little thing baby changing station but this place this place just opened um because carrie asked me if i want to see the women's room i'm like no i don't want to see that but uh, let me go out this door this place just opened like i was saying about a year ago they've done some soft openings and the youtubers were flocking here and they're talking about well it's not open yet and it's not this well of course not it was a soft opening this here as i struggle go <laughs> how many bobs does it take to get out of a gate this place here is now in full effect and you will see some signs of landscaping crews because they're getting busy just ready to welcome in the people come on in i got something to show you <laughs> so here we are in one of the cottages that they have to offer here this is amazing this is unlike anything that you've seen before as far as a KOA or a thousand trails or anything like that. Right off the bat, look how spacious this is. You have all your modern appliances. You have all your modern, modern color schemes. And let me tell you, everything here is like being at home. You have a nice island out in the front so you can prepare your meals. You have all your counter space, coffee pot. They even give you uh, dishes and, su and such like that. Coffee cups, all that really cool stuff that you don't need to lug with you. Talk about making it as simple as possible for you just to get on the road and get camping and enjoying time with your family. This is the first, for me, it's a dishwasher. This is, this hands down right there is worth the price of admission. You have your stove, and again, this is a full house. This is like tiny houses. Uh, you have your microwave, you have your refrigerator, tons of storage all over the place. And you come down here and you have a nice little pantry area. And look at this, folks. This is a bathroom. So you got a full on bathroom, your toilet, your sink, a nice shower, all brand new. Um, you really are going to be hard pressed. Yeah, thanks. Cute girl, handsome man, not included in this video. But if you go in through here, this is a bedroom down here. I would say this is about a full-size bed. Uh, a mini split system for the bedroom itself, which is great. A nice wardrobe. And then you have your, your normal utility stuff here. But look at this. They provide the linens and the pillows just like a hotel. And I will tell you that the linen service, I've seen them come through here. They are changing these out constantly. 
it, it's a very quick turnover for them. They do an amazing job. Everything here, the housekeeping staff is phenomenal. They don't just have employees coming in and cleaning. They actually have an outside company that comes in and takes care of this for them. So you know when you're coming in here, everything's already done. Because the last thing you want is be worried about somebody else's germs. Now you got the kiddos, not only do they have a little small little sofa here, but they also have what appears to be about a 50 inch flat screen TV right above the fireplace, perfectly done. And then if you come on up here, well, we'll, we'll take this from Carrie and I'll sneak up here, but look at this. In the loft area, you have two twin beds and all that space and all the windows, automatic lighting, all the windows to make sure that you have plenty of natural light. Very well done. Um, and again, we'll leave links in the video description below so you can contact the front desk as far as rental prices and such. Okay, that's going to cover the cottages here. They're beautiful. Go down here. That's Judy. That's Carrie. We're going to head over here. <laughs> <I> told you. <laughs> this here. Look at this. I'm walking on the grass and I probably should use the walkways. But look at this. Oh my gosh. You have a whole community <laughs> area. You have gas fireplaces. You have a spot to do your own fire logs, stuff like that. Picnic tables all under the trees. Let me tell you, hands down, they have thought of everything here. And this is, this is spectacular when you look at all these buildings right here, right? You come down with your family. You got the grandkids, you, you your stay kids. Here too? They can I have do. a different well, little nice. cottage, but you all have this yeah. community okay. area We've right here to enjoy. That's pretty cool. Oh, now, this is something that I gotta say, I've thoroughly checked and made sure there's no gators in here. So don't worry, friends, you are safe walking in here. As well as you, young lady. Yes, sir. There's no gators, I've already checked. But look at this. Now, I make jokes about places being so fancy that they water their water. Uh, they Not only did they do it, but they didn't even know they were being fancy. I pointed it out to the management here, and they're like, well, no, we weren't trying to be fancy. That's just how we do. Like, whoa, that's when you know that you spared no expenses when you just water the water and just you even because. care. <laughs> but look at this, folks. This is amazing. And we had something to just jump in the water there. But... Uh, Look at this. Now, I am going to point out... Did you find a gator? No, but there was something that just jumped in the water. I do want to point out something, and I want to address something. Yes. Okay. This place is adjacent to I-10. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, right through a couple of sites and through a couple of trees, you could be on I-10. That being said, during the day, you do get some road traffic you get a little bit of noise. But I'm gonna tell you something. The thing about that is, there's so many distractions here that you don't even notice it. And if you do notice it, you've gotten used to it so quickly, that it's not even a thing. It's never interfered with our sleep. No. Never interfered with our time here. It's been amazing. And I'll tell you, I'll take a big truck going through any day that a bunch of kids screaming at Fort Wilderness because yeah. they didn't get their Halloween candy. If you've been there and you've done that, then you know what you I'm talking can't about. You can't park because you're going to pop an inflatable. Yeah. So i will just show you real quick as we head down to our loop. But this here is one of their updated sites here, or upgraded, I should say, as it has. Look at this. You have a little gas fireplace right here. Just push button and poof, you have a fire. All the picnic tables. This is all class A ready. This is a super long site. You have your power pole with all your hookups. It, this power and water all in one ingenious little design. And this is, if for your reference, is D25. So if you like the hot tub, and you want the festivities, ask for D25 because you're as close as you're gonna get. But all of it, it's just amazing. Now, again, as I mentioned before, Carrie and I are down, and this is all part of Sea Loop. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're gonna walk you down there, we're gonna show you our site, because really, it's all about us and where we are. So we'll just show you that and show you those facilities as we mentioned before. Stick around. Okay, so we're back on our sea loop here and you see some of the cottages over here and also over there. Now, 
this RV resort has roughly 275 sites. Mm -hmm. They have eight of the covered wagons and I believe 34 or so of these cottages. There's plenty of room for everybody. So no need to beat down the doors to get in. You just make a phone call. I'm quite sure they'll make a nice reservation for you. That being said, once the word's out about this place, and I think we're gonna be <laughs> kind of kicking ourselves in the butt come next year if we wanna come back, because I have a feeling that this place is gonna take off mm -hmm. crazy. So now they're spending an obscene, obscene amount of money on landscaping. Um, and what they've done is absolutely fantastic. And they have leaves here that fall year round, right? So they're constantly on it, constantly picking it up. Every day. Constantly doing something. Um, they're just, uh, there's nothing that sits here. The, again, I can only go back to that Fort Wilderness experience and where Disney parks, because everything is immediately picked up. If there's something out of place here, it ain't out of place long because somebody will come through and they'll take care of it. And that's a testament to what Judy's done with her staff mm -hmm. and, and all the people that work here because it, it, they care about what they do and it totally shows. One of the things that we were kind of taken aback by when we got here was that how friendly everybody was. We thought it was a joke at first because everybody waves you and they are sincere about it. That's a big deal. But so we come up here. This here is the backside to one of the laundry facilities slash bathhouses. And we're going to go this way. And uh, we had the fortunate experience of being parked right next to this. So we can testify to people coming in and talk about how clean things are. Now there's somebody in the men's room because I can hear the shower going. So I'm not gonna go in the men's room on this one. But I'm gonna walk over here. Again, this is the attention to detail with all the landscaping, the parking out here down in the end is a dog park. There's actually, for you guys with the uh, canine companions, there's two dog parks here. So you can let your dogs out, they're fenced in so they can run around and they can do their thing. Absolutely incredible. So when Carrie says I, we can pull the trigger and we can pick up a canine friend, we can come back here to walk them. That's a great thing. That's another selling point Carrie wasn't thinking about. But we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do Carrie's favorite place. Ah, oh, the laundry. Which is the laundry. Now. And they even clean this two and three times a day. We've watched people come in here and trash this place mm -hmm. because people don't think that there's other people that could have come through here. And five minutes later, 10 minutes later, their crowns crew is in here cleaning it and it's amazing. Now it's Thousand Trails members. Okay, now this is not a Thousand Trails facility, but as a Thousand Trails members, we all know about the infamous cards that you have to have to do laundry and all that stuff and each one's different blah 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 this has probably the easiest system ever it's all by credit card it is you could just start a machine pick you pick your machine next pay by credit card blah 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 and then you're, and done. you're all done now that works for both the wash machines as well as the dryers but hey if you're old-fashioned like carrie and you like to carry around 20 pounds of quarters you can use those here too because they yeah. all have coin off options that's crazy. Now, as we head over here and we head back, this is our site. And as you can see by our brand new 2023 22 MLE. If you want to see a full tour of that, I'll link a video just to the video below, give you the full tour. But as you can see, look at this, plenty of room for our rig, our grill, which it rained here. So that's just water on the table, picnic table and all our things. We got our flag pull up because you have to salute America. And look at this, all the business size of everything here. Everything, look, how, look at this. And one thing I'll tell you about this whole park before I wrap this video up, Gary. Yeah. Is that this is not one of those parks where you're gonna reach out with your awning and touch your other's awning. No. There's no sword fights here with the awnings. No, it I is, hope not. No, it is definitely, you have space to be you and to be do your thing. That's absolutely incredible. Now we're gonna see if we can get Penelope to give you a bathroom tour. All right, and this is the ladies room. And this is the first time that I have been in here also because I haven't had the need to. But my God, these mirrors are huge. There's 
one, two, three stalls and a handicap stall, which is really nice. Nice and spacious and super clean. Four showers. Oh my gosh. I might have to splurge and take a shower in one of these before we leave. There's a little spot for your shampoo. So let's talk business real quick. Is there anybody, somebody's gonna ask inevitably. So I have Starlink right out here. As you can see, Starlink right next to our trash pickup, which they pick up like twice a day. Yep. Starlink here has consistently been about 60 megs down. So thumbs up to Starlink for that. Um, I normally have it mounted on the pole, but because of the trees here, that became a little uh, thing of- It was a little uh, obstructed. Yeah, so we'll put it out here, which is fine. Uh, T-Mobile is killing it here, 290 megs down. Verizon, uh, as well on the hotspot, is coming in right around 240, 260 down. Uh, uploads to somewhere around 50 megs, which is just ridiculous. So more than enough to get your work done and get things going, if that's what you need to do. Streaming, and I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Listen, you ready? Hmm. The Wi-Fi here, mm -hmm. phenomenal. Whoa. So if you don't even have that, Shut up. they have their own Wi-Fi, which is ridiculously fast. Yeah. I'm careful with always recommending that because you know how that goes. Everybody jumps on the Wi-Fi on, on the park and it all goes down, but ridiculously fast speeds for an RV resort. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're gonna jump back in here and hopefully piece this together. We just got stopped by Deborah, who <laughs> apparently is the events coordinator here and she takes care of all the entertainment from the bands to this wacky thing that Carrie was just mentioning, which is goat yoga. If yeah. you wanna know more about goat yoga. It's on their Facebook page. It's on their Facebook page, and we'll also leave a link. All this will be linked in the video description so you can reach out. Just call the desk, ask for Deborah, and say, Deborah, we were talking to Bob and Carrie watching their video on YouTube, and we wanna know all about this goat yoga. Yeah. Apparently it's taken the uh, area by storm and uh yeah it's crazy but right here as you can see they have it all lined up all the golf carts are ready to go now they're getting ready for their high season and for spring break and a good thing that, that deborah pointed out was that it's a family spring break yes so this is very much a family rv resort coming here in the slightly before season uh there's a lot of older crowd here which has been great uh, for us because we like that crowd, mm -hmm. but also knowing this is a family resort and it also has a nice blend, as we mentioned earlier, with the pool and, and the family pool and the adult pool. So if you have your family with you, that's great. You can spend time with them. If you're sick of your family, you leave the kids over one end and you go over and you just go in the adult section and you can do your adult things. That's pretty cool and something you don't get to do. Mm. There is no separation at Fort Wilderness. We've learned no. that. As someone who goes to Fort Wilderness <laughs> without kids, we know that you end up with kids no matter what. Uh -huh. So now we're just gonna take you down here. We're gonna pop back in and uh, kind of wrap this up for you. Now, one thing we wish more RV parks did was this right here. If you need propane, they have a propane filling station. The price may change as time goes on, but there's a number you call and someone will meet you right here with your cans or your rig and you can get your propane filled. That's a huge deal. The last time we were uh, out and about, we had to drive like 20 miles just to get propane. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a nice little thing. But when we talk about finishes and little touches here and there, right? One of the things that is we, uh, pointed out earlier is just look at this so this is a repurposed uh display piece shall we say yeah 
Uh, and our understanding is this Indian, Native American piece was purchased by, uh, from, purchased from Alvin's, yeah. uh, which is a, uh, if you've been in the area, uh, Gulf Coast of Florida, Alvin's does a lot of that beach wear mm -hmm. store, stuff like that. They had a whole bunch of stuff and they repurposed it and put it here. It's a beautiful piece. Uh, in fact, it was moving to us that we actually asked if there was a correlation to the grounds and being a Native American property or something like that. And no, they just simply repurposed the piece and, and put it here. And they have other theming, you know, random theming like that throughout the property. So nice little behind the scenes stuff always makes the videos a little bit better. So until next time, coming to you from beautiful Splash RV Resort and Water Park here in Milton, Florida. I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And this has been Life Redesigned. We'll catch you next Sunday. Yes. Not too bad, kid. No. Now we have to pack up and go. Hmm.